I want to share with you something a little bit special. This is the Prince of French Blue Cheeses. This is, in fact, called Blue de Verne. Now, Roquefort is always considered the king, but the Prince is the Blue de Verne because it's younger and sweeter. It's just such a beautiful cheese. Look at the blue that forms on this. Now, some interesting facts about this. So this was developed only in about the 1850s. So in terms of European cheeses, this is really quite a young one. Now, from the southern regions, the blue cheeses, the same as the Roquefort, were developed in a cave by a guy called Antoine Roussel. Now, Antoine, very brave man, noticed that his cheeses started to get a bit of mold on them. So instead of just throwing them, out, throwing them out like anybody else would, he actually decided to eat them and he really enjoyed the flavors. What sort of brave man would do that, seriously? But what he also developed, and this is what he's particularly known for, see these blue lines that go through here? Let me hold it a bit closer. You see those, and you often notice these in blue cheeses, they actually get needled. And you might be able to see some small marks in the top here. So what happens is that the blue cheese gets needled to let more air into the center of the cheese because for the mold to grow, we need to actually get oxygen all the way through the cheese. And so by using needles, we're able to then get the blue cheese to form and create those wonderful stinky flavors that are blue cheese. Now, back in the day, Antoine actually used knitting needles for this. Things have progressed a little bit further and we're now using machines, but what an amazing thing. What a great invention. And I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for, for Antoine Roussel, who knows where we'd be without our blue cheese.